I can open the doors for them and get doors open so they can go in and we can do something. I can shoot at things if I need to. I have the
it's not just going to continue to go. I have commands that in the middle of a bite, he'll come off, or even before he gets to the bite, I'll recall him and down him. And that happens, especially in a building search. I send him out. I want to go to specific spots. I use hand signals and verbal command, and then I'll down him, because I don't want him to get really out of my sight. So, but it just depends. Rockland has two police dogs. There's actually a third one, but How's he's your in answer, a, Tony? Uh, a narcotics tax force, and he'll, he's never out on patrol, and it's just for a narcotics. Uh, I agree that when dogs like that are trying to do specific tasks, they don't get to do it. So one will hide and then another one will step in and cut the food off.
I think they're throwing the dash up.
It's much better to use a dog whose uh, nose is like 100,000 times more powerful than ours. So actually, I'm going to have you guys step back even further into the pole. Avery, I'm not here. She's going to find us near one of the poles. Oh, oh yeah, Avery, I'm not here. She's going to find us near one of the poles. Oh yeah. yeah. Easy sniff. She's gonna come find out. So a lot of people don't know how many dogs find things with their nose and how about no if she found something. Excuse me. So watch what she does and see if you can tell when she's found something. Alright? You guys need to back up. What she's gonna find is right here, so it interfere with her. Back up against the window. Can you watch her? Is it up over here? Is it right here? Yes! Yay! Yay! to somebody and he just committed a violent crime and he's not going with the program. So a dog is a good use of force. The majority of the time I get Condor out and I say, hey, you better comply with my commands or I'm going to send my dog and he's going to bite you. And uh, usually they give up right then. But if they decide not to, then I'll let Condor go and, and apprehend him. So, Fuck. 
So what you kind of saw right there is I sent my dog, he apprehended the guy. And once the guy gives up, I can verbal out him like I did. So I have the option, let's just say I sent the condor for here, and then in route the guy gives up, I can call the condor off so before he bites. So it's called a recall, which happens. I'll send him and the guy goes, I don't want anything to do with that. So he gives up and I'll recall the dog before he bites. However, in this case, he did bite Chris. And then even when they're in drive and biting, they're still going to listen to us and we're able to call them off. And then we do a thing called handler protection. So I told the bad guy to move away from the dog. Then I went up, pretended to cuff him, and the guy fought me. So Condor's trained without me giving a verbal command to re-engage if the guy starts fighting me. So that's what you kind of saw there. Uh, we kind of replicated that. And then Condor, he's not a mean dog. He's very friendly. He doesn't care. He's not biting because he's mad. He's biting because I told him to, and that's what he's trained to do. And he gets rewarded for it. So Chris, he'll, he'll come back over here, and he can pet Condor and roll around with him and have fun. Condor's not going to bite him. Of course, unless I told him to. Uh, yeah. So he's very, very friendly dog. This is Hannah. Yeah, but a lot of people under the misconception that the dogs bite because they're mean. That, that's not why they bite. So, say hi. Yeah. So you can see he doesn't care. It has nothing to do with Chris. So, yeah. Um, any questions at all? Just raise your hand, I'll call on you, don't be shy. Any? There's one. So, they're in continual training. So, how it works is once you're selected for a canine position, then, uh, then we purchase a dog and it kind of goes through a selection process to purchase the dog. We have several that uh, breeders that are actually out of the country. So he's from Germany. So from from a, from a pup, they're trained to be a police dog. And they have some bite work and obedience work when we get them. And then once we get them, then we go to school together. And the school's about 14 weeks long, and it's full time. Once we go. Chief 24, 